Hello, my YouTube friend. Today we have a real mega epic Funko Pop haul. I have a ton of boxes of stuff, so a couple packages from the mail, a few small collection purchases, a ton of collection trades, all kinds of stuff. So in this video, I'm going to show you this box that was traded to me, this box of stuff that was traded to me, this box of stuff that was traded to me, this box that was traded to me, this box of stuff that was traded to me, this box of stuff that was traded to me, this box of stuff that was sold to me, this box of stuff that was traded to me, this box from the Funko shop, this box from the Funko shop, this box of pops that are sold to me plus a gift, and finally this box of pops that was traded to me. Alright, today's video is going to be a ton of fun to me because there's a lot of stuff to go through and uh, some stuff I purchased and I think it's just going to be fun just to see what's here because I kind of forgot what half the stuff is. <laughs> some of these trades are from months ago. Alright, let's just start digging in. Okay, so in the past, I've mentioned that Jay's is a group of friends that come in from Long Island to visit my shop and do a lot of trading. So a bunch of these packages come from them and a few other people. First, I'm going to start with the box from Jerry. This box, I gave him $42 in store credit, so it's probably about like $50 to $60 worth of pops. Usually when people trade stuff into my shop, if it's pops, I usually do about 75% PPG price in store credit. Sometimes 60% if it's like weaker stuff and sometimes 50% if it's something that I just it's gonna be harder to sell And occasionally if there's something I really want for myself that I'm really excited to get I'll give 100% Okay, Let's see what we got Okay, we have a dart from stranger things. Uh, I have this pop already But I think the one I have the box is damaged or I might actually I might be missing this I might only have the chase and not the common so I actually might need that Okay, which would be cool. Okay. We have the pusheen mermaid Oh, this is cool. I think I have three from the Pusheen set. I want to get all of them because I think they're pretty cute. So I'm happy to get that. So that's uh, number three in my set. Cool. Okay. Oh, this is cool. We have Freddie Mercury from Queen. Uh, I have the diamond one. I don't have this version. This is cool. Or I guess the diamond one, he's in a different outfit. Anyway, I'm happy to get that. I, Queen's a great band. I love the rock pops. I like any of the music related ones, especially, I mean, my store sells records. I love music. So I like this line. I would like to see a lot more bands turned into pops. So I don't have that one. Definitely keeping that one. Uh, okay, we have regular flash. This one I definitely have. So that one will be for sale. Okay, one more. Okay. Oh, Coraline and Rainco. It's the chase. This is cool. I, I think I actually just got this one recently, but the one I got the box with a little damage, this one looks mint, so it's a box upgrade, so I will be selling the one with a little bit of box damage. Very cool pop. Okay, so thank you, Jared. I appreciate the trade. Lots of fun stuff, including a few things I needed. I like getting stuff that I actually need. Okay, I believe this next... Okay, this box and this box comes from Rakeem. He actually, he bought this during the 12 days of Christmas and he offered it to me for the price he paid. I said, sure, I'll take it because I didn't order it. So it's the Teletubby set. Not a set I was dying to have. I probably could have ordered it, but he said he bought it. He paid the $60 or whatever. I said, all right, you know what? I'll take it. So let's take that down, which is cool. I don't know if the set will ever have value, but I think it's kind of fun. So we have Lala. And we have the Dipsy. And he brought it into my shop right after they came out. So that was like four months ago. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm finally trying to finish up the store. Trying to clear out all the junk I have in the shop and get it either for sale or sort it into my collection. Okay, we have Poe. Okay, and then finally we have Tinky Winky. So, I mean, I kind of like these. I mean, I was a 20 something year old when these first came out. I remember they were just so weird. But I'm sure there's people that grew up on them with that love. They probably love Teletubbies. Like, I love Big Bird. Okay, and then I have this box here. I believe this is from Rakeem as well. I didn't mark the box, though, so I might be mistaken that. But I think this is stuff he traded in for something else. Or maybe he... Uh... No, I think this is just more... So You know what happened? He bought the whole bundle from the 12 Days of Christmas. And so he traded and sold... I think the Teletubbies are paid cash... And the rest of this I traded for the price he paid. Okay, so this is the Buddy Elf. That's the Funko Shop exclusive. That's really cool. I love that pop. I had that one already though, so that will be for sale. And then this is... What is this one? Oh, okay. This is cool. This is the Freddy Funko Christmas one. I think I have this one. I think someone else traded it to me. I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to have to double check that one. But that one's cool. I really like that. I really like these Freddy Funko Final figures. I would like to see them do more. I'd like to see them to do some that are licensed characters. Like Freddy Funko or this little mini Freddy Funko guy. 
as a character. I almost would prefer that to Pops. I'd rather see a lot more of those. He might be for sale if I have him already, but I'm gonna have to double check because I don't remember. I feel like I got him, but I just there's a little bit of, of doubt in my head. It's also it's been months and I've been just crazy sorting and cleaning my office, so I gotta get my mind back in the game. I gotta remember what I got. <laughs> okay, let's see uh, where we go. Okay, I'm gonna go through this package. All right, this package comes from Stefan. He uh, he came in a couple weeks ago. And I believe I gave him sixty dollars store credit, and he gave me a pop as a gift. So thank you, Stefan. I really appreciate it. I uh, this is pretty cool. All right, let's see what we got in here. Okay, we have the Chase Crash Bandicoot. This is cool. I don't think I have the Chase, so I'm actually gonna keep that. Okay, we have George R R Martin. I I don't know if I have him in this. I know I have the three pack. With him in it, but I don't think I have him solo. So that one I'm probably keeping. Okay, that's cool. I like it when I can get some pops I need. Okay, the 2018 ECC Comic Con exclusive She-Hulk. Really awesome pop. I have that one already though, so I'll be selling that. But I do like that they made her in her lawyer outfit. That other one is cool. Very cool. Uh, okay, we have Elias from the Ancient Magus Bride. I don't. I guess it's an anime. I don't really know the character. But he's really cool. It's a Hot Topic exclusive. That one I don't have, so I'm keeping that one. Okay, what do we have next? Okay, from Rick and Morty, we have the Crombopolis Michael. This one, I'm pretty sure I have. It's a 2017 New York Comic Con exclusive. So that one will be for sale. And... Uh, oh, this is cool. We have the Elevated Eleven. I don't know if I ever picked this one up, so I might actually need that one. Pretty cool. I need to fill in that wave, get the rest of them, and then start working on the new wave. I think the new wave just came out, or it's coming out very soon. Uh, okay, and then finally, as a gift, he gave me the 2019 Galactic Convention exclusive Yoda. This is cool. It's the gold foam one. I love it. That is awesome. Thank you so much for giving that to me. That's the first one I have with the chromes from that series. I, uh, I was a little overwhelmed. I thought they're just doing too many chromes, but I'm really happy to have them, and I kind of do want the set. And if I was going to have just one, Yoda would probably be the one I'd want. So that's awesome. So thank you for the gift, and thank you for the trade, Stefan. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Stefan. Okay, what do we have next? Ah, uh, okay, so one of the Jays is moving pretty soon. I think he might... Uh, no, actually, I think he just moved last week or a couple weeks ago. So John from the Jays moved... So they had a new member join, and that's Ryan. So this trade is from Ryan. His middle name starts with a J, though, so he's like a pseudo-J. <laughs> All right, so this, uh, let's see, wait. I gave him $34 store credit for this box. Okay, we have regular pork. That one I believe I have already, so that'll be for sale. We have a Conor McGregor. This one, I don't really collect sports pops that often, so that one I'm going to sell. I don't have it. Or actually, I think I've had it a couple times now, but I'm sticking them in the store. So I'll probably have two or three of these in the store this week. Okay. Okay, we have Slapstick Deadpool from the Risty Boxes that came out a few years ago. This one I have already, so that one will be for sale. Okay. Next, we have the Cage and Church from Pet Cemetery. This is cool. I didn't have this one yet. I actually really want this. It's a cool horror movie. I guess it's for the newer one, though, but I do like the original one. I haven't watched the newer one, so I don't know if it's any good. Uh, but this is one of those cool double sets. I come with two pops and it has a little reanimated cat. I love it. That was cool. Okay. And then finally we have a regular Michael Myers. This one I definitely have. So that one will be for sale. Keeping that one. So thank you for the trade, Ryan. I really appreciate it. Woo, we got a lot of boxes to go through today. <laughs> okay. So this box comes from the Jays again. This box comes from Jerry. And uh, it says I gave him $174 store credit in trade. Let's see what I got. I forget if it's a lot of stuff I have already. I think he traded in a few things I needed, but a lot of duplicates as well. Let's see what we got. Oh, this is cool. We got Agent K and Nibble, Nibble, however you say that, from Men in Black. Really cool. I love the first Men in Black. The second one's pretty good. The third one's pretty good, but definitely a really cool pop. And I like that to double pop with a little mini character. I love when they do that. I think that's one of my favorite types of Funko Pops is when they come in a double set. Uh, okay, next we have the Super Saiyan 3 Goku from GameStop. This one, I believe I have already, so that'll be for sale. I'm going to double check, though, because all the Gokus that they make, it sometimes blends together and I forget. Uh, okay, we got Toby from Naruto. This one, uh, yeah, he said it was a little damaged when he got it. So, I believe I have this one already, though, so I'll be selling it and I'll just have to sell it for a couple dollars discounted. Okay, next we have... Okay, Marvel vs. Capcom Ultron vs. Sigma. 
I think I have this one. I'm pretty sure I have all the double sets from this. I might be missing one double set, but I don't think that's the one I'm missing. I really like these double sets. I think they're a little bit underrated. I, uh, I enjoyed them when they came out, but I, I don't think they really sell for much. I think they sell for less than retail. I still think they're really cool sets though. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, cool. We have Alex Armstrong. It's a GameStop exclusive from Full Metal Alchemist. Really cool pop. I didn't have this one yet. So that one's a keeper. Awesome. I love my anime pops. Okay, next we have... <laughs> okay. I believe it's a Target exclusive. I probably have 15 of these because so many people traded them into me. I don't know if everyone thought they were going to flip them or something, but uh, definitely get a lot of these lately. So we have the Target exclusive Darth Vader. He's getting electrocuted. Really awesome pop though, and I'm sure someone will buy it. Star Wars stuff is just really easy to sell. Okay, where are we are. Oh, okay. I don't have this one. From Gears of War, we have General Ram from the 2019 ECC Comic Con. That one I didn't have yet, so definitely keeping that one. Very cool. He's really cool looking too. I think there's a whole bunch of new ones coming out from this game. I need to get all those. Oh, oh cool. Okay, we had the 2016 San Diego Comic Con Deadpool where he's holding the riding horse. That's a really cute pop. I like that one. I have it already, though, so I'll be selling that one. Okay. Uh, oh, okay, we have the Hot Topic Glows in the Dark exclusive The Crow. Oh, this is cool. I have this one already, but I'm sure someone will want this one. The Crow sells really well for me. So that one will be for sale. Oh, it's nice to get. I think I actually got the regular version of him a couple videos ago. Uh, oh, okay, we have Edward Elric from Full Metal Alchemist. I don't think I have him either. Okay, cool. Definitely happy to get that. I gotta jog my memory because a lot of times I get the stuff. I will remember... Did, you know, I'll get that thought. Okay, I've seen it. I've touched it. I've held it. I own it. I just don't remember if I did that before or is it when I just bought it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I might have remembered when I purchased this collection, but I didn't remember if I actually put another one into my collection yet or not. That's why I am sometimes have to say I have to double check. Okay. Okay, we have the Gajil Dragon Force, the 2019 ECC Comic Con exclusive from Fairy Tail. Really cool pop. This one I do have already, though. I've had a few come in recently, so he'll be for sale. He's cool looking, though. Uh, ooh, okay, we have the Alphonse Eric Full Metal Alchemist, the regular one, not the Hot Topic exclusive one, which is one of my all time favorite pops, but this pop's awesome as well. I don't think I have this one yet, so I'm definitely keeping that one. Okay, what do we have in here? Oh, okay, we have Furid Bathory from Seraph in the End. So this one I don't have. This is cool, definitely keeping that one. Another keeper. And one more, one more, one more. Oh, okay, from Monster Hunter, we have the Hunter. Uh, I don't have this one, so definitely keeping this one as well. Very cool, I think that's only the second one I have from that set. All right, awesome, thanks for the trade, Jerry. I really appreciate it. All right, the video that never ends. <laughs> Okay, next I'm going to dig into this Funko Shop order. Uh, with the Funko Shop lately, they haven't been putting out the really limited stuff. So a lot of stuff sticks on the website for a few days at least. So I've been kind of patient with the newest releases and waiting for two or three at a time. Just so that I can see them on shipping basically. I haven't really rushed out there. Though, especially if it's like the spastic plastic. Uh, every once in a while it burnt me. I didn't buy the Felix so I missed out on him. But... A lot of the other ones I am getting, so I'm not really worried about it. I feel like Funko is making a little bit more of everything, so it's a little bit easier to get, so it's less worry of missing out, and less likely that it's going to jump up in value, so I'm not rushing to get it. Ah, everything is in boxes. The Funko Shop always packages it really well. So it looks like I ordered four items. Sort of forget, but it would have been stuff within the last month or so. Uh, oh, okay, cool. So we have the Lavender Bunny Peeps. Uh, these pops are kind of goofy to me because it's, it's basically just the candy. <laughs> it's like, it's not really sculpted in anything special or anything, but I like it. I love Peeps. It's a delicious marshmallow candy. So I kind of like the pop. I think that's my first Peep actually. I do have to get all those in the Sour Patch Kids. I'm just not rushing to get them because uh, they're not that interesting. Although I do love Sour Patch Kids and Peeps, both candies I enjoy, so. All right, what do we got, what do we got, we got. Oh, okay, this one's cool. We have the Zawu from Crimes of Grindelwald. I think that's how you say it. He's really cool looking, so he glows in the dark. So again, it's like this kind of stuff is just not selling out really fast. So I've just been kind of waiting until I can order three or four things at once. Uh, oh, okay, this one's cool. Okay, so we have the Orange Gill. I really like this one. All right, that's awesome. Happy to have that. And so basically, 
When they put them on the website, they're going to be $15 each. If you buy them one at a time, it's another $7. So you're paying $22 with shipping. But when I order all these at once, I pay $22 for one, but then the rest are 15, well, 15 plus tax. So like 16 ish. So I do like saving on shipping. It adds up $7 a piece times four items. That's an extra 30 bucks. I mean, you could buy a cool vaulted pop for that. You could buy three new pops. You could buy six pops on sale. It adds up real quick. Uh, oh, okay. It's a Freddy Funko. I forget which one this is. Oh, okay. This is cool. So this is just the regular Freddy Funko. Love this. I was just talking about the other one. I do really, really like these. I do want to get all the ones I'm missing. I'm missing two or three of them. Definitely want to fill in that collection. I love them. Got one larger item. I don't remember what this was. Oh, this is the Presto Rabbit. I'm going to have to keep the outer box because this packaging is very intricate. Like, I have a feeling the bottom of this hat's going to get damaged real easily. He's cute, though. This is cool. I do like when Funko do other vinyl characters, not just Pops. So that's pretty cool. I'm actually happy with that. The packaging is kind of weak to me just because it's going to... You can't really see the figure so much. I know the bottom of this hat's going to get damaged. It's cool, though. Happy to have it. Okay. And that's everything from that order. Okay, let's open up this Funko Shop box. So it looks like I ordered four items. Uh, so I guess, again, I was kind of waiting for some of them, you know, for two, three, four at a time. Although I feel like I ordered some of the Westmore Forest ones. I ordered just two. I figured I might start ordering one or two at a time. Every time I order something else, I might just add one or two because I do want a set of those. I love them. I think they're really cool. Oh, yeah, this is cool. Oh, he looks really cool. Yeah, I'm definitely, I'm going to be ordering more of these as I, because every time I get them in person, I just absolutely love them. I love kind of cutesy monsters. So this is the liverwort. Definitely want to get all of them. I just, at $15 a piece, I'm just like, all right, one at a time. <laughs> Not rushing to get them. I'm hoping someone just trades them in. Okay, so we have another one. We have smoots. Oh, these are cool. I really love the way they look. Awesome. I'm actually happy to get those. I'm definitely going to be adding a couple more. So the next time I order from the Funko shop, I'll probably grab two more. I hope, kind of hope the Funko shop does another discount. They did that like 20% off a few months ago. I hope they do that again. Then I'll get the rest. Okay. And then I think the rest of these were the actual Funko shop exclusives. I mean, are these Funko shop exclusives? I don't think I see them in other stores, but maybe I'm wrong. Oh, this one. I thought this one looked beautiful. Oh yeah, she's gorgeous. She looks even better in person. So we have the Diamond Collection Princess Jasmine where she's got all these like little translucent parts and then she's got the glitter on her. I'm actually going to take her out of the box. I think this one I need a little bit of a better look at. Oh, she is beautiful. Her foot, I might have to fix a little bit. Oh, there we go. Okay, I kind of wiggled it on a little bit. So I just got to wiggle it on. There she goes. Awesome. She is great. I love the details on this one. Just such a beautiful pop. Okay, I'm super happy with that. Definitely going to be one of my favorites from this video. Awesome! Okay, and then one more. I believe this is also a Funko Shop exclusive. Oh, okay, yes. So we have another spastic plastic. We have Chet. Really cute. I do really like their unique characters that they make themselves. Very awesome. Okay, really happy with that box. I love the Jasmine, I love the Spastic Plastic, and I really like the White Moor Forest Pops. I'm definitely going to be looking for more of those. I think I only have two or three others. Two or three others plus the Flock Set of Six, which is one of my all-time favorite sets. So I'll definitely be looking for more. Uh, okay. We have another box from the Jays. This one comes from Javon. He, uh, I didn't write how much I traded. So I forget how much I traded for. I'm guessing it was probably like a hundred bucks, something like that. But let's dig in here. I forget if it's stuff I wanted or... Uh, I think he's trying to be super duper limited in how much space he uses. So he keeps trading. Like he'll keep only a certain amount at a time and kind of whittles his collection down pretty often. Uh, oh, okay. This is cool. I didn't have this yet. We have the Fanatics Michael Jordan exclusive. Awesome. His box looks a little damaged, but that's okay. I'm really happy to have that. Awesome. Uh, okay, we, you know, I don't collect sports pops. I'm just not really into sports. But back in the early 90s, I was a big Jordan fan. I mean, you watch highlights of him, it's beautiful. So I do like Michael Jordan. I actually, any of those early 90s when I was really into sports, Deion Sanders, Michael Jordan, 
and maybe some of the Yankees. Those I would definitely keep because I still I like that era. Okay, we have the Frieza final form from Dragon Ball Z. That one I have already, so that'll be for sale. Okay, we have the Master Roshi peace sign. It's FYE exclusive from Dragon Ball Z. That one I have as well, so that'll be for sale. Uh, okay, we have the Michael Jordan Common. Very cool. I wanted that one as well, so I'm happy to get that. Uh, we have the Super Saiyan Future Trunks Hot Topic exclusive from Dragon Ball Super. I believe I have that one already, so that'll be for sale. So I guess he's whittling, Dragon Ball Z has been his like main focus. So I guess he's just whittling down some of the cheaper commons. Okay, we have Videl from Dragon Ball Z. She looks really cute. That one I don't think I have yet. So that one I might be keeping. I just have to double check if I need it or not. Uh, oh, we have a Space Jam Bugs Bunny. This one I don't have. So definitely keeping that one. That one's adorable. Uh, okay, we have Yamcha and Purr from Dragon Ball Z. I don't think I have this one. And this is one of those awesome double sets that come with a little pop. I always mention it because it's my favorite type of Funko Pop. Love it. Definitely keeping that one. I love the double pops. I feel like every pop should be a double pop. <laughs> I'm sure you can give a little teeny something to relate to a character. Like with Michael Jordan, you can give him like a mini uh, trophy, you know, for winning the championships. Or, you know, for every single character, you could probably have a little mini thing to go with it. Uh, okay, we have Android 17 from Dragon Ball Z. I don't think I have this one either, so I'll definitely keep that one. Okay, we have... Oh, we have Swack Hammer from Space Jam. I don't think I have this one either. I know I have a couple of Space Jam, but I need to get the rest. So this is cool. I... And maybe I have it. I'm not sure. I know I have the big blue guy, the M3. I might have Marvin the Martian. I might have Taz, but I'm going to have to double check. I also heard that they're making a Jordan Space Jam figure. I really can't wait to get that. That would be cool. Uh, oh, okay. We have King Kai and Bubbles from Dragon Ball Z. Oh, this is cool. Another one of those double sets. So definitely love it. Don't have it yet. Definitely keeping it. Uh, okay, and then finally, we have a Golden Shenron. A Hot Topic exclusive. This one, every time I get it, sells. I have it already, so I'll be putting it up for sale. But I'm sure someone's going to grab it right away. Probably within a day or two of me putting it out. Very cool. All right, let's take that down. All right, thank you for the trade, Javon. I really appreciate it. And you actually traded me a few things I really wanted, so I'm happy to get those. Okay, let's open up this box. Now, this also comes from the Jays. This comes from John. But John is moving to Las Vegas, or he just moved. So I probably won't see him. I'll probably see him when he visits friends and family in the New York City area. I'll kind of miss him a little bit. I kind of enjoyed talking to him and whatnot. But uh, this is the last big trade I had from him. So this box and the bigger box. So let's dig in. And this collection was kind of cool because it's a lot of one thing or one type of collectible that I didn't really have a lot. I was debating whether I'll collect them. But... Because he traded me so many, I guess I'm collecting them now. Oh, and this first box isn't even pops. So we have a Ren and Stimpy Dorb set from the 2018 San Diego Comic-Con. Really cool. I love Ren and Stimpy, so I'm definitely keeping that one. We have a Roller Toaster Hot Wheels car. This is actually pretty cool. I do like the... I might actually keep this one. I don't really collect Hot Wheels, but I do like kind of the goofy and fun ones. I actually really like that. And if you guys like Hot Wheels, I actually bought a collection of 312 Hot Wheels last week. So I'll probably be doing that video pretty soon. Or I'll do it even sooner if you tell me to. <laughs> uh, okay, this is cool. We have a Crash Bandicoot figure. He's golden. Oh, he's cool. I think I'll keep that because I do like the video game stuff. Okay, and then from Saints Row, we have a Johnny Gat statue. I don't think I gave him too much for this because I... Don't think it's really worth much. It's from uh, one of those like deluxe PS3 games where you get like a little statue with it. So that's, those don't tend to have much value unless it's something real. A few of those sets will be worth some, but a lot aren't. Uh, okay, and I thought this was pretty cool. It's a whole set of Nintendo buttons. So this is like a reward for being a Nintendo member. I'm not sure what it was. I looked it up on eBay and I think I gave them like half the value for this. So this kind of oddball stuff, I usually give them... If someone's trading it in for store credit, I usually give about half the value of whatever it's selling for. And then if they want to sell it for cash, uh, maybe like 25 to 35%. Like this, I probably would have paid a little bit more. But some of this, like this, this will be really hard to sell. Or something like this, not the easiest thing to sell. But I think it's cool. So I'm actually going to keep that. This I'll probably sell though. I mean, I think it's really cool. But uh, 
I do have to make a little bit of money. <laughs> All right, awesome. Thank you, John, for box one. Okay, so box two has what well, I'm talking about that he traded in a lot of one Funko collectible that I hadn't really started collecting yet. But because he gave me so many, he sold me so many. Well, he traded. I ended up giving him 50% of the pop price guide price in store credit. And he was happy with that because he decided he just didn't want to collect them anymore. And that's Funko Pez. So he... I don't know how many Pez. A ton of Pez's. So it must be a huge portion of all the ones they've made so far. Okay, so we have the Hulk. I think he was saying all these, as he picked them up, the Pez candies were removed from them because a lot of stores can't sell in New York City unless they have a candy distribution license or whatever. So uh, a lot of them are without the candy, but it's all right. Uh, okay, we have the Captain Crunch Chase. That is cool. And I'm keeping all these. I'm definitely putting a set together. Now that I got most of them in one batch, I have a collection. I'm going to just keep them. Uh, okay, and then there's a bunch of other stuff in here as well with the Pez. So we have a Toys R Us exclusive glow-in-the-dark Predator with the green blood on him. It's a Dorbs figure. That is cool. I don't have that one, so I'm going to keep that one. I do like translucent figures, so I thought that was actually pretty awesome. Uh, okay, we have another Toys R Us exclusive alien figure. One with a face hugger on his face. Very cool. I like that one. Then we have the League of Legends Poro Trio. It's the Project King and Shadow Isles Poro. I know I have at least one of these. I might have this already. I'm going to have to double check. At least I haven't really played League of Legends, so I don't really remember who is who. I'm not sure. I probably have it, though, because I do think I've gotten these in a few times. I just remember it came in the like a mystery box. It wasn't a mystery you knew it was in the box, except it was either this set or the other set. So a little bit of a mystery. Uh, okay, what do we have here? Oh, okay, this is really cool. We have a three-pack from Nightmare Before Christmas Pocket Pops. I do love these Pocket Pops. I love them in the tins. I kind of wish they would do more of these. I mean, the tin is really colorful and awesome. The little mini pops are awesome. This was 2015. That would have been the last year that they did these. And they didn't do a lot of them, but I really like them. I think they're cool. I just got the Batman one a few videos ago. Okay, and then we have a lot more Pez. Ooh, we have Bob Ross. That one's cool. I love Bob Ross. When I was a kid, I would watch them all the time. I always enjoyed it. You know, I didn't really realize the reason why I like Bob Ross. I was watching an interview with Jibby, the ASMR artist, and she said uh, Bob Ross was kind of like the original ASMR artist. And it makes sense. You know, he'd scrape the brush on the canvas, making the... So he would talk really quiet. Let's make a little mountain. And he would, uh, uh, he would take, clean his brush. He would go... Doo -doo 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 -doo. And so it makes sense. <laughs> okay, we have uh, Magneto. That is awesome. I love the X-Men. So many Pez. Okay, we have the... Uh, I forget the name of this guy. One of the Captain Crunch guys, the Something Berry. Uh, okay, we have the Red Magnet Missile Mega Man. That is cool. Love Mega Man. That was one of the games I really loved back in the late 80s, early 90s. Uh, we had the Gyro Attack Mega Man. Glows in the Dark. That's cool. I, you know, I wasn't going to go out of my way to buy these, but getting all of them all at once at a good price, yeah, I decided it was worth it. Or it made me want to collect them. Uh, okay, we have regular Captain Crunch. Actually, I think I might actually have a Captain Crunch, so that one might be for sale. Okay, we have a uh, Doctor Who, the tenth Doctor. So yeah, I'm keeping the majority of these because I don't really have a lot of them yet. So I'm not going to be telling you which ones I'm keeping and which ones I'm selling. I'm just keeping them all. <laughs> Okay, we have a Frankenberry. It's a game side. I think this was actually from the Black Friday box. So that one I do have, so that'll be for sale. Uh, oh, this is cool. We have the Joker. I actually really like that one. It's the classic TV series Joker. Uh, okay, we have regular Mega Man. That one's really cool. Okay, and then we have a Jawa. I wonder how well these are doing. I, uh, I've i actually sold a couple of them now in the shop. Some of the Black Friday ones. So I don't know if the interest is growing. I know the Pez collectors really love collecting Pez and they've been doing it for years. So I suspect these are going to be pretty strong for Funko for a long time. The Pez might outlive the Funko Pops. <laughs> okay, we have another Bob Ross. Do really like the Bob Ross ones. Uh, okay, we have a Robin. It's uh, almost hard to tell. It's just his head, so it's just like a face mask. <laughs> Oh, Pez. I mean, I love Pez. I grew up with Pez every Christmas. I would get Pez in my stocking. I think it's a great, like, $1.49 toy. I just don't know if 5 or $6 is cool. It just seems like too much for these. Could we have a Thor Pez? I still kind of like them, though. 
I just didn't think I was getting my value out at five or six dollars, so I wasn't going to start buying them. But again, I got them all in one go, so this is actually kind of awesome. Oh, okay, we have the Loki Golden Pez, it's a Funko Shop exclusive, limited to 3,200 pieces. That's actually pretty cool. Looks cool, it's limited. Uh, now that's a collectible. Uh, okay, we have Secret Squirrel. I don't, that's our early Hanna Barbera. I, a little bit too young for like the late 60s, early 70s stuff, but I still like it. I mean, I did watch some of it in reruns, but I just, it wasn't one of those things I grew up with. Uh, oh, okay, we have the Thor Funko Shop exclusive, limited 3,200 pieces. Okay, that's cool. After watching Endgame, my desire to collect Marvel stuff is just so much higher now. <laughs> I already loved it, but now I love it even more. Uh, okay, we have Morocco Mole. I like that one. Or is it Morocco Mall? Am I saying that wrong? I guess it's Morocco Mall. Alright, I do say things wrong. Apologize for that. I can't help myself. Okay, we have a Loki. Okay. Hold it. That's a lot of Pez. Okay, we have Fruit Brute. This one I'm pretty sure I have already. That was from the Black Friday box, so that will be for sale. Okay, we have... Uh, oh, Yandu. Okay. Love that. That's awesome. That's a cool Pez. Love Yandu. I love his character. I, I would like to see a solo movie just based on him. That would be pretty cool. Uh, we have a Booberry GameStop exclusive. Well, Yandu movie. Okay. Oh, we have Cable. Love the X Men. Very cool. Oh, Sonic the Hedgehog. That one is awesome. Uh, Captain Crunch. Now, I know I have one Captain Crunch. I think I have the one with the white stems. So that one I'll probably be selling. That one I'm keeping. Uh, oh, we have the Batman Chase. That's cool. I do like that he had some of the rarer, more expensive ones. Uh, okay, we have the Yummy Mummy. It's a GameStop exclusive. This was from the Black Friday box as well. So that one will be for sale. Because I believe I have a full set of those now. Uh, oh, Star-Lord. Very cool. I love Guardians of the Galaxy. The Guardians of the Galaxy, I think, are some of my favorite Marvel movies. Uh, Yogi Bear. Yogi Bear is one cartoon I did watch when I was a kid. Those are reruns I did catch. Uh, oh, we have the Box Launch exclusive Deadpool. The black and red Deadpool. That's cool. Uh, oh, we have a Stan Lee one. Okay, that is cool. I like that we have a Stan Lee. Um, we have a Tuscan Raider. Okay, I like that one. Okay, we have the Huckleberry Hound. That is cool. Again, that's more for someone who's maybe in, around 50 years old, 55 maybe. Uh, Snagglepuss, maybe 47. <laughs> I just say is. I was born in 76, so these cartoons were already on TV. So by the time I was four or five and really appreciated cartoons, they weren't really played so much. Okay, we have Snagglepuss. It wasn't my Saturday morning. Whereas I know some people a little bit older than me, it was their Saturday morning. It's the stuff they woke up for. Ah, okay, we have the Collected Core Hulk. I think I have this one, actually. I think I have the whole box, so that one will be for sale. Um, we have the GameStop exclusive Count Chocola. This one I'm pretty sure I have as well, because that also is a Black Friday one. Uh... Oh, we have the... I forget the name of the character. From Captain Crunch, we have the pirate. That, that one's cool. Very cool, Pez. Uh, oh, we have the classic Batman. Okay, I like that. That one's cool. Actually, happy to get that. We have the regular Deadpool Pez. Okay, that's cool. I think that's all the Pez. Oh, no, a couple more. A couple more. Okay, and then we have the Crash Bandicoot Pez. All right, this is cool. I think a lot of these Pez's probably are characters that weren't made. Or maybe they were. I don't know. Pe I feel like Pez, they make everything. And then finally, we have... Uh, oh, okay, we have the Star-Lord Pez. All right, cool. Another Funko Shop exclusive limited to 3200 Very awesome. So how many Pez was that? So that was like 40-something Pez. I mean, I don't know how many they made so far, but that's a good chunk of what they made. So that's actually pretty cool. Uh, okay, and then we have the Quiz Pez that came with a t-shirt. The Funko Shop exclusive. It looks like a big package of Pez. I actually really like the packaging. So that's cool. Adding that to the collection. Take that down. Uh, okay, he also, he had these Pez pop displays. So he just gave them all to me. Which is really cool. That's a fun way to display them. So he had three of those. And then we have... Oh, okay, this is cool. Just a whole box of homies. Oh, I do really enjoy homies. Alright, I'm not going to show you one at a time because there's just so many, but I'm going to set them up and I'll show you a little montage at the end of the video of all the homies. 
So I'm going to go through these. I know some of the, I don't have the hot chili pepper one. That one is awesome. I know some of these I probably need. So I'm going to have to sort them out. All right, cool. I forgot there's a bunch of homies. And then, uh, or I might put the homies in a separate toy video. Okay, and then there's a whole other box. It feels heavy. Uh, okay, so this just has some other random toys in it. So I, not sure what game, I did maybe Destiny or something like that. So we have that cool action figure. Uh, I'm not connected to the game. I don't really know what it's from. So that I will be selling. He looks really, oh, maybe not. I don't know. He looks really cool. All right, I'll debate on it. Oh yeah, it says Destiny. Okay. <laughs> Makes sense when the toy is labeled. Okay, and then we have this really awesome guy. I guess this is also Destiny. He's like a 12 inch guy with a big axe and uh, a cool looking gun. So that's cool. So he, I'll probably sell him. I'm not sure. I have to research it. I'm not sure of the value. I don't know how much I'm going to sell him for, but he's really cool. I like, okay. And then we do have some more loose stuff. So we have a Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse Pez, just regular Pez. That's awesome. We have, uh, I believe that's Ken from. Street Fighter, little pint size hero, and uh, Chun Li, pint size hero. That's adorable. I love Chun Li. She's my favorite Street Fighter character. Okay, and then we have Spock, pint size hero. These are the kind of things I don't really buy the mystery boxes, but I do like getting them in collections. Because when I buy them in collections, I'm gonna pay pretty cheap on them, just because they're not the easiest thing to sell. But I do love collecting them. I get them for a better price because the person selling it knows that they're not going to be able to sell them very well. Like, if you put this on eBay, you're not going to be able to sell that. You're going to probably make 50 cents after all the fees and all that. Steven Universe. So I do love buying them this way. Just bulk collect. Okay, we have a BB-8. Okay, I, we have... I believe he's from Street Fighter. I'm just not sure which character. Okay, I can move these. And Disney Prince of some sort. I'm not sure which movie. And then another Street Fighter pint size hero. Uh, I forget his name. I'm terrible with names. Okay, we got Harley Quinn. She's very cute. And, uh, oh, a Star Lord. Okay, like that. And then a Five Nights at Freddy's guy. Another Steven Universe character. Very nice. Uh, oh, Robbie the Robot. That one's cool. I didn't remember getting that one. Love Robbie. That's one of my all-time favorite robots. And I love ro I love robots. <laughs> He's definitely one of the robots that inspired me as a kid. Uh, oh, Green Goblin. Oh, he's cool. Okay, we have another character. Uh, I believe that's Steven Universe as well. Could be wrong, though. You guys can correct me. I'm really bad sometimes. I haven't really seen that much Steven Universe. I like what I've seen just a dozen episodes, but I should really watch a lot more. Uh, we have Amethyst from Steven Universe. Uh, someone told me that's Thor, so that's Thor. <laughs> He's cool. All right, let me go I love Robbie the Robot. Okay, we have... Okay, I'm not sure who he's from. Destiny, maybe. He's cool looking, though. Oh, we have a face hugger from Alien. I love that. Another Street Fighter guy, uh, Ryu, I believe. And we have Doc from Back to the Future. Very cool. One of the all-time best movies. Or at least one of my all-time favorites. I gotta watch. It's been probably about five years since I watched the trilogy with my son. We should probably watch it again. I'm kind of... I need to do my all my classic movies again. <laughs> okay, we have that character from League of Legends, I believe. She's really cute. And... Uh... We have the arrow. This is one of those pocket pop keychains, but he removes the keychains. So it just makes him like a little pocket pop. Definitely, I do like him. I think he's cute. Oh, nope. <laughs> All right. Uh, just some Walking Dead trading cards. I think these were just all the common ones, nothing special. Cool, though. I mean, someone will buy them. Trading cards are kind of my bread and butter. It's one of the things I sell the best in my shop. They are kind of hard to get cheap enough to sell them, but I, uh, if you guys have trading cards in packages that you want to sell on open packs, I definitely interested in buying or trading. If you want to trade unopened packs of trading cards for pops, I'd be happy to do that. Uh, okay. We have a amethyst pint size hero. Oh, we have Lilu from the fifth element. Awesome. Love that movie. All right. We have one of the dwarves. That's, uh, 
Ah, uh, I forget his name. Dumpy? I forget. And then we have another Street Fighter guy. Forget his name. And Neo, I believe, from The Matrix. These are kind of cute. I kind of do like these. I just want to go. I mean, were they four to five dollars new? Buying them one at a time seems crazy, but buying them in bulk definitely. We have a Batman. Then we have from Capcom. I am not sure who this character is. Not even sure what game he's from. He looks cool though. Looks like a Lego dude, sort of. Uh, oh, we have a Venom. He's like a translucent Venom. That is cool. Really like that one. Okay, I believe this is a Five Nights at Freddy's guy. We have another Street Fighter guy. Blanca, I believe. The names are kind of missing in my head at the moment. Uh, oh, we have a cool Colossus. I And again, I don't... With the Mystery Minis, I have so many that I just kind of have them in boxes. I'm going to do a big sort soon so I can get a bunch into my store. Because I'm not sure what I have. Oh, we have an Eve from Wally. -E. Love Wally. -E. Wally's -E's one of my all-time favorite movies. So that is awesome. We have a Golden Thanos. Really like that one. I think that one I might have because that's, I think, from the Mystery Box. Uh, another Street Fighter guy. I forget this guy's name. And uh, Captain Kirk. Really love that one. Can never go wrong with a William Shatner. Uh, okay, we have another one of the dwarfs. I forget the name of the dwarfs. And uh, another Street Fighter. I think that's a duplicate, actually. So I will we'll sell if it's a duplicate. That, I mean, it's pretty easy since it's in the same collection. Okay, so that's everything. Pretty awesome collection of stuff. I think I'll put the homies in another video. So if you guys want to see the homies, let me know. Thanks again for the trade, John. I really appreciate it. Tons of really awesome stuff I'm adding to my collection. And a couple things for the shop. All right, this one's hard for me to narrow down. In this video, there's so many cool pops I picked up. Uh, I think the Princess Jasmine Diamond Collection. Love this pop. Absolutely beautiful. Definitely near the top of my all-time favorites now, I think. Just, I love the way she looks. She looks beautiful. And... I really like the Wetmore Forest ones. Seeing them in person, I just I enjoy them even more than I thought I would. So I definitely want to be trying to get more of these. These are awesome. But there's so many more. I mean, the Jordans, and there's just so many awesome things in this video. So it's kind of hard for me. Let me know in the description below what your favorite items were from this video. Even if it's a giant list, because I wouldn't blame you. There's a lot of cool stuff. I want to thank everyone who traded to me this time. It was a lot of fun trades and lots of cool things for my collection and for the shop. I want to thank my patrons for supporting my channel. With their help, I'm able to afford to do more videos like this more often. If you want to help support my channel as well, I'll put a link to Patreon right there. If this is the first time watching my videos and you enjoy this really long, mega, epic Funko Pop haul, why don't you click the robot's face to subscribe? Why not? I want to make more videos like this just for you. And I'm going to put a couple of other mega, epic Funko Pop hauls right there. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!